even if you learn about all these things or you talk about them before marriage some of the things in marriage you have to learn on the job okay you have to learn in the marriage i'm saying this because you don't want to wait until you get married to talk about things like this because these are very important things to talk about ask the question what does hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is mabel and here on my channel i film about family relationships beauty and lifestyle I also like to vlog and just share my opinions about things that I feel like are interesting and things that I feel like you're going to learn a thing or two from. So, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for always tuning in. If you're new here and you're just seeing me for the first time, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel, okay? Because here on my channel, we learn, we share, and we have fun yes we have fun so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you a few questions that i've put together that i feel like are necessary or important to ask before engagement or marriage okay and when i talk about engagement i mean the proposal okay proposal slash marriage okay yes i've put these things together because i've just seen you know just from watching reading and all that stuff i kind of said you know what let me come up with a few questions i feel like needs to be asked or topics that needs to be talked about before an engagement or proposal or marriage so the first question that i feel like people should ask or topic that i feel like people should talk about when they are dating will be topic about engagement or proposal like what does proposal look like to you what does proposal mean to you okay and i'm saying this because i think that some people get this whole proposal thing wrong yes you will see people who are dating people who are dating and then when it comes to proposal time especially the guys will do it wrong okay i feel like one of the things you need to talk about if you're dating and you know your your relationship is leading to marriage would be Asking the lady, especially, what does proposal mean to her? What does it look like to her? Okay, I'm saying this because some guys go out of their way to plan a very big proposal. Um, they go out of their way to plan something fantastic. And yes, good and fine. You know, they are very thoughtful. They plan very beautiful proposal. They want to do it this way. They want to do it the way they want to do it. But I feel like you have to first have this conversation with the person you're dating to know exactly how they would like to be proposed to or what kind of proposal that they like or what they think the proposal should be like okay because you don't want to go and spend money time energy to plan a big massive proposal and the girl or the person you're dating is someone who would just appreciate a small dinner date just something between the both of you or maybe you just want a proposal where they just have their family and those who mean a lot to them okay so i feel like most guys go wrong when it comes to proposal okay they go ahead and plan like i said already expensive big and then they end up proposing yes good and fine the girl says yes but then she doesn't appreciate all your efforts all the money all the time spent okay so i think talking about the style of proposal the kind and all that around proposal during dating before engagement or proposal is done it's a good topic to talk about or good question to ask when you are dating someone yeah yeah so my second question or topic that i feel like people should talk about or ask when they are dating will be what kind of wedding do you want what does wedding mean to you and i'm saying this because there are some people some guys maybe um that don't really think too much about wedding how big it should be you know what i mean but then you're getting married to a girl or you're dating a girl who wants her wedding to be really big who thinks wedding means everything and all that who probably has dreamt about her wedding day from the moment she could understand her dreams basically okay i didn't want to say i didn't want to say from the moment she was born i mean from the time when she could understand her dreams basically so i mean some people have thought about their wedding almost all through their life like what they want the wedding to be like and then you go and marry somebody who doesn't even think about wedding or who wedding doesn't mean anything to so i feel like talking about your wedding what your wedding should look like how your wedding should be how big you want your wedding to be how small number of guests and all that is an important topic to talk about especially after proposal or maybe during the time of dating before you guys get all into the whole wedding thing that way you prevent arguments and fights and heartbreaks and all that when you're planning your wedding okay you don't want to have a girl 
who is wanting a big wedding or a destination wedding and you're all there trying to frustrate all her efforts and all her dreams and plans okay so yeah talking about your wedding day what is important to you during your wedding who should come where it should be how big or small it should be it's one topic i feel like people should talk about when they are dating and after they get proposed to okay because right after proposal we're talking about marriage right right so talk about that okay yes that's, that's another thing that's number two thing that i feel like people in a dating relationship should talk about before they get married before they get the engagement done and all that good stuff so another thing I feel people in a dating relationship should talk about or need to ask is what does marriage look like to you, okay? I'm saying this because you don't want to wait until you get married to talk about things like this because these are very important things to talk about. What does marriage, ask the question, what does marriage look like to you, okay? So when you talk about this thing, you hear the guy talk about what marriage looks like to him and what the girl talks about what marriage looks like to her because you don't want to be looking at marriage from here and the person you're dating looking at marriage from here. I mean, you guys want to make sure marriage looks like this. The way my, what marriage looks like to him is similar or is the same as what marriage looks like to her. Okay? And when I talk about what marriage looks like to you, I am talking about things like commitment commitment okay in marriage what does commitment look like to you in marriage what talk about family values talk about um family dynamics talk about all those things what does family look like to you what does family really mean to you what does commitment mean in marriage okay what you know just there are a lot of things to talk about when you talk about what does marriage look like to you like when you see us married, are you thinking that what does it look like to you? Does it look like a child's play? Does it look like a serious business? Does it look like something that you're looking at a long time forever? Or are you looking at it like, well, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, you know? You don't talk about all these things because they are very important things to talk about before you say, I do. Before you get overly committed to the point where you feel like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead with it, even if it doesn't look like the same thing for us, because I've already gone this far and I don't want to turn around anymore. So that's one question or something you need to talk about if you're dating or you're getting ready to get married. Another thing I feel like you should talk about in marriage are expectations, okay? Yeah, expectations in marriage. When I talk about expectations, I talk about respect. How do you expect your partner to respect you? Expectations on extended family members, expectations on immediate family members, expectations on finances. What do you expect your partner to do? What do they expect you to do? How, you know, expectations on even things as little as um, how to manage the home. Because I know there are some men who expect their wives to do it everything at home they don't want maids they don't want domestic staff they don't want chefs they don't want anything like that they want their wives to raise the children by themselves no nanny so you need to talk about these things you know what do you expect do you think you know in, in marriage when we get married when it gets overwhelming do you think i can get a chef do you think i can employ nannies can i get housekeepers and all that because you don't want to get into a marriage and it's okay for someone not to want anybody else to raise their children except their wives it's okay for a man to want his wife to be the only one to cook his meals so these are the things when i talk about expectations in marriage you should talk about finances not you get into a marriage and the man tells you oh i don't want my wife to work i want to be the one to provide 100 percent and then the woman is the one who wants to work because she wants to work you know or you want you don't want to get into a marriage whereby you know the man expects that you bring something to the table and all this wife in thinking you want to be taken care of <laughs> You want everything to be handed over to you. So talk about these things before you get, again, overly committed in your relationship to the point where you feel like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and do it because I've committed too much time, too much effort, too much love and all that, okay? So expectations, talk about expectations in marriage before you get into the marriage, okay? Yeah. Another thing you can talk about before you get married or before you get engaged will be talking about your fears your greatest fears and concerns okay yeah because you know let's let's be realistic right now okay there are a lot of people who are from a broken home okay and their greatest fear is to get into marriage and also have a repeat of what they had okay like having come from a broken home you are afraid that the same thing that happened to your parents 
can or could happen to you okay people who are from homes where their parents are abusive and you are afraid like, like your fear in marriage is to end up with a partner who is as abusive as your mom or your dad okay so these are fears that people need to talk about okay even with the fear of you know there are a lot of people that have grown up in a home whereby the extended family members have stressed their parents you can have been stressing their dad financially or even stressing their mom where they've had um extended members family members who didn't like their mom or who made things hard for their mom and they're afraid will i get into a family like this what if i get into a family like this and then my in-laws begin to stress me or my family members begin to put pressure on my partner to be financially responsible for them there are a lot of things that people are afraid of when it comes to marriage okay things that people don't talk about things that even they themselves are too afraid to talk about during relationship and all that so i feel like if you're in a dating relationship and you have fears or concern you should be able to share your fears and concern with the person you're dating that way you guys talk about it and probably plan on how to deal with the situation if it ever arises or just how to be just prepare okay you know when you prepare for things like marriage you know you tend to have an easy marriage or you tend to be able to manage situations or know how to navigate things when those things happen in your marriage okay so i feel like people should talk more about their fears and concerns in marriage before they even go into marriage okay i think i've done a video related to this topic before i'll leave a link in my description box if you haven't seen that video before but i feel like you should talk about so many things spirituality what you're to go to how to raise your kids what disciplinary measures you're going to use um how to deal with you know who is going to live with you when you get married you know are you open to family members moving in with you guys you want to live by yourselves you know deal breakers in marriage and just so many things okay there are a lot of things you can talk about before you get married yes you can talk about it but some of these things you have to learn on the job okay because i mean you learn as you go and as you get into marriage it gets easier hopefully okay yeah so i feel like i'm saying these things and these things are the things that i almost did not even talk about before i got married but i think i have learned on the job and i'm still learning on the job marriage but you know i feel like why why am i going to hold knowledge of the things that i know you know things that i know being married for all these many years i can share my knowledge and experience with someone it can help you make yours even easier than mine was or even make yours smoother okay just you know talking about these things learning about them i feel like yeah it definitely will make your life your married life easier from the start but yeah even if you learn about all these things or you talk about them before marriage, some of the things in marriage you have to learn on the job, okay? You have to learn in the marriage, okay? So, yeah, I tend to come here and share a few things I feel like people need to talk about, some topics or questions people need to ask before they say I do, before they get proposed to, especially with that proposal style and all. i think that's what triggered this video and i just put together all these other things i feel like are necessary okay so yes that being said if you're dating date wisely before you say i do make sure you have talked about all these things and make sure you guys have come to an agreement at least to a good place where you feel like you know what to do if any of these things happen so that being said i have come to the end of today's video i hope you like the video i hope you learned a thing or two from it don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my video share leave a comment subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye